And then next stage we can just quickly clean off the underside of the hand. And to do this we just go in a circular motion. And just remove the um, excess oxide. So that now looks a little bit more presentable. And um, so the next stage really is to start to clean up the scallop tips here. And to do this we uh, mount, just rest the hand on a block, hold it with the middle or second finger, and then steady the tip with your other finger. And what we use to start with is just a round brooch smoothing brooch and what we do is just lie it in the groove and just draw it back and forth and this just to helps to compress or if you like burnish the surface and just to remove any marks from all the previous processes so one thing you must do particularly on a hand like this is you've got to make sure that all the movements are perfectly straight and that you don't at any time catch this section of the hand because then it'll start to look unsightly okay that's starting to look good and I think it'll now start to take a polish so the hand is now ready to apply the polish to these tips and it's a concave surface two curves which meet here in the middle and so what we have to do is to file a piece of wood in order to follow that contour so we take a piece of pegwood and with just a very coarse file while constantly spinning the wood in your hand you can just file a taper, a nice round taper onto the end of the wood Okay, so I think now we are ready to do some polishing. And there we are, now we are starting to get a very nice polished concave surface there. And if you note, we're still maintaining the sharpness of this peak and also the sharpness of the edge here. So that's looking good and we'll leave that for the moment and now we'll concentrate on the other side of the scallop tip. So now we have to polish this side of the hand. And um, so again, we just take it like this with a burnisher and just start to draw down its length. Again, making sure that we keep it absolutely perfectly straight. It may sometimes be easier when you work on that side of the hand just to reverse the direction hold down there with a the nail and then just to work from this direction and it means you can get a longer straighter sweep with the burnisher 